Everyone's good? Well, Nick, um, just a quick one, being back in Perth, I mean, do memories come flooding back of your time at the Force and things like that? Absolutely. We just drove past the uh, the Western Force there and, the, uh, and they were getting their back wheels flicked. They're getting rubs and getting G'd up for the game. And, oh, yeah, there's a lot of memories in there, mate. And a lot of training sessions down here, actually, pre-seasons, a lot of throwing up. That sort of thing, yeah, it's really positive. Hey, how did you get involved with the, uh, with the World 15 and here in Perth now? Mate, I've had a couple of runs with uh, World 15, actually one over in Japan, we played against Japan, that was about it, it was a cracker. It's always, it's one of those environments, it's one of those uh, team vibes where you just want to be around, and it's just, uh, it, it's high energy, it's, it's, it's funny, but then it's also, we, we play for each other, we want to win too, you know, it's, it's pretty serious in that regard, but yeah, it's, it's one of those things you make memories for life and, and made for life. Yeah. It's a bit of a rundown of your recent playing history, I mean, how much have you actually been out for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, uh, about three, three fifths of stuff all. Um, I've, uh, no, I went out and played uh, in, on the army base in Darwin, that was pretty cool. It was uh, officers versus, uh, versus the diggers, so in that, in that sort of scene they, um, they're equal for the, for the first time and and you know, they get to have a good crack at each other, so uh, the rules are a bit laxy, and I, I was all about that. So, um, no, it's great to be back here, and, and uh, Robbie, I've played under him a few times, and uh, he's a good rooster, and we always have we always good fun, always have good fun, but we also we also play for each other, you know, it's, it's powerful. Were you in the officer's side, by any chance? The officer's not, I was in the diggers. Yeah, yeah, always a shot at the uh, at those in command. If you can have a crack at them legally, it's always uh, beneficial, yeah. Mate, it's on a series though. When did you last play your series game? 2015, 16? Um, yeah, somewhere around there, probably 16. In Japan after you left? Yeah, 16 team. it was. Yep. Yeah, late 16. <laughs> oh, far out. Stop, stop saying that, it might make me nervous. <laughs> I reckon, uh, you never know, I'll be probably be gassing it and down the sideline there'll be some sniper will get up and bloody get me because the, uh, the old hammies aren't conditioned all that well. But, um, you know, give me a couple of goes, I'll be right, mate, I'll bounce back. Have you had a look at the new laws? Yeah, had a little squeeze, exciting, eh? Means, means just buddy, just spin it wide and have a go. That's what it's about, isn't it? It's about buddy, high energy, putting bums on seats. Because people want to see that sort of stuff, you know. And if, if this nine-point try business from inside the 22, mate, swing it wide. Mate, last time you you got one of those against the Waratahs. Yeah, I don't know. It's happened to happen quite a bit, um, actually, back in those days. Um, but yeah, don't want to go into it. But yeah, mate, it was, it's good fun. Managed to get a, a, a hundred meter meaty um, yeah, against the Waratahs, and hopefully the old getaway sticks can keep up this time round. You gonna last the length? Time if you get it? Absolutely not. Um, but I'll make out I can. It's about you know, faking it till you make it. That's, uh, that's how it is. But you know, Robbie's Robbie's good. He, he knows uh, the boys and the and the condition and, and you know how to roll those subs because that's that's going to be crucial for us. Um, but even though you know Robbie, uh, he's just come back. He's had a unfortunately a, a flatulence issue and um, you know. But we've been working closely with um, the professionals and we're hoping to remedy that situation pretty soon. The uh, the new laws obviously bring the time of uh, the game lengths back as well to 70 minutes. Should be pleasant. 70 minutes, yeah, bloody oath. Yeah, knock a, yeah, I'm happy to knock a few minutes off, um, but then that won't be uh, it won't knock off any intensity though. That'll make it you know it'll bump up the intensity. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it's the sort of thing you want to do from here on in. Like, what's your sort of your future in rugby? I guess. What are you thinking? Yeah, mate. I think I'm sort of I'm in and out. You know, uh, I'm like a honeymoon sort of thing. You just flat out like, get in there, get it done, have some fun. You know, make some memories and then uh, and then bugger off because I've I've got a fair bit going on, and um, yeah, I mean, there's so many adventures and so much to do in this life and there's so little time. So if I can uh, have a finger in each pie, then I'm I'm living the dream. You followed obviously what happened to the force when they were cutting super rugby, and have you followed much about what's happened over there since? No, no, I, I was I was absolutely shattered with uh, with what happened, and you know, obviously, it's my whole professional career was here pretty much. So that was a real kick in the guts. But I mean. Since coming back a couple of times and and uh, been watching the boys play, um, you know, mate, I'm 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 stoked. I'm, I'm stoked for the boys that there's an energy there and there's a belief, there's a hope, and yeah, I I, I love to see them. I, like I know they've been bloody training hard and they're bloody g'd up for this game, so they're going to come out firing, and that that'll be a testament to, to show just that that enthusiasm, that hope that they've got in their veins. You know, is there, is there a future for a competition like this to run parallel with Super? I mean, Super Rugby is sort of coming to the end of his life almost, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, yeah, look, I mean, I don't know, I've, uh, obviously I've been out of the game, I haven't been, haven't been playing super or, or much rugby at all, but I've, uh, I've been watching every now and then, and right, everything runs its course, um, however, how long there is left in, in either way, I've, I don't know, but this global rapid rugby and going over to Asia and all overseas, mate, I'm, I'm all about it, yeah. We just thought something about your involvement, obviously, it'd be exciting to have such a quality bunch of players that you've spoken with. Yeah. 
it's, it's great. We've done pretty well. It's not an easy time to gather a group, but uh, obviously all the blokes that are here want to be here, and they're all of, of good character too. So we're, we're pretty circumspect in those that we do uh, give this sort of opportunity too, because it's, it's a special week. And I guess just with Perth, um, what's happened with the Western Force and that, the opportunity to bring quality rugby back here to WA, I guess that must mean something to you as well? Absolutely. It's great. It's good for the game. Uh, I was here last year with the Panasonic Wild Knights. We had a great encounter. I think it was 50 to 45. But most importantly, a quality game of rugby. Um, and these guys are very excited to play the, the rapid rugby rules. Um, and excited for the week. It's a unique situation where you throw a group of players and people together who have no background together. Some of them have played against each other, but there's a real mixture of his history amongst them. We've got a number of World Cup winners. We've got you know, internationals from different nationalities. Uh, Leonardo Senatore from Argentina, for example. Joe Aplon, South Africa. It's, it's just a great opportunity for these guys to mix and mingle and, and play the game that they love. As a coach, the game obviously designed for attacking rugby. Are you just you know, giving the players freedom? I guess, how do you approach instruction? Yeah, encouraging them to get outside their comfort zone because you know, we've got two training runs and we play against a group that have been training all summer and are itching to stop us from playing. So, yeah, it's just encouraging them to, to express themselves and uh, show what they've got and, and add to what should be a great occasion. On a serious note, um, obviously, tragic circumstances hometown, some of the players in your team as well, I guess, can you just tell us what it's been like being amongst the group and I guess your feelings on what's happened? Look, to be honest, I mean, it was a horrific event um, and it's numbing, to be honest. Uh, you can't comprehend it, uh, you can't understand it and we probably never will, but, uh, but it's, you know, it's left a footprint in, in Canterbury and in New Zealand that will last for some time and they'll obviously, you know, society will never be the same again. Um, we'll never take for granted the things that, that uh, we had. Uh, and obviously, you know, you, you, we're very conscious of, of those that have suffered. Uh, it's just horrific, yeah. And I guess mm. Over here, but I guess can you pay tribute during the game? Is there a way that you can sort of show that you're thinking about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, look, you know, we'll there'll be a minute of silence. There'll be we intend to uh, fundraise to help support the families who, who have suffered. Um, yeah, but you know, you can't change history, and that that blight will be there forever. Yeah, and it comes a few years ago, but. Comes on the back of the city, probably hasn't recovered from the natural disaster. Yeah, the community's had a tough stretch, um, courtesy of the earthquakes, obviously, but they are a fantastic community. Um, and that'll be never more evident than, than the way they'll help each other through this. Yeah. Go back to the rugby then. Um, Coming out of Japan, obviously you came over last year as a great advocate of, of this new competition. A lot of things happening in Japan and Japanese rugby at the moment. <laughs> One of which, of course, a lot of talk about the Sunwolves. Is there a possibility that maybe, that I, oh, there is always this talk of Japanese rugby coming into global rapid rugby. Could it be a team like the Sunwolves that's independent of the top competition? Over there? Look, it could be anything, to be honest. As you quite rightly pointed out, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of ground moving behind the scenes, a lot of politics. Um, Players have no interest in that stuff, they just want to play the game. So those things will unfold. Uh, there's no doubt that Asia is going to be big in the future, uh, economically and in the game, out of necessity. World Rugby needs to cater for, for this area. Um, and clearly, you know, Rapid Rugby want to be a part of that. And I'll be very surprised if they're not. And there will be a lot of people who, who want to join them. Uh, the concept's good. Uh, the community-based concept is good. And most importantly, the focus on the game and the people who are in the game is great, not on commercialism. Super rugby, so, so we're told, is sort of running out of steam a bit. They've got to make the changes uh, yeah. there or, or, or move on from that. Many people will make many decisions for their own reasons. Yeah, I, I don't want to, to enter those discussions other than to say this is going to be a great week for these blokes um, and that's why you play the game. Um, the introduction of money into the game has become what I'd call a peripheral distraction to what's important. Steve Burgess, 
the, the, the owner, if you like, of this comp said he'd like to put a side in Japan. Yeah, no doubt. Yep. Oh, we were we were looking at it last year. We just we didn't have time to get it get it done. Yeah, it'll happen. You talk about almost an invitation side, bringing players from around the world to, to play and a home base out of there. Do you like to see that, or do you like to see a Japanese uh, place? Uh, rugby, more rugby, played in more places. Uh, it's inevitable. It will happen. Uh, and rapid rugby are driving that change, which is great.